Okay, so let's say I want to create some drawings. Okay, so you notice, look, these two panels, they've got now perimeter bars, they've got some mesh, they've got some grout tubes. I even placed a couple of uh, cast-in plates on the far side of this panel. Um, there's a little bit of everything here, okay? So back in the configuration area, if we have a quick look, part of the solid walls is the ability to choose a template to run some drawings. So there's some settings here for the reference line for the demand, the distance from the object to the first dimension, then the, the, the distance between each dimension run, the template which it's using, and that can be configured by yourself. Only one has been configured at the moment. And if we come back in here and have a look under title blocks, you can see there's one solid wall, but you can create as many solid wall um, uh, templates as you like. It's the solid wall name, dash, and then whatever you want it to be will make it appear here. If it has solid slab, it will appear in the shop drawings for solid slabs and same with the hollow core slab, etc. It's that prefix at the beginning that controls this, right? So what we do is we come in and we select the items we want to create drawings of. Now I only want to create drawings of the actual assemblies themselves. So I would come in here and select the elements, pick OK. And then in my precast tools, I go and choose to create shop drawings. Okay. Now the system goes through and uh, uses the rules that it's got stored internally. And it goes and creates these drawings. And you'll notice that in my tree of assemblies, I've now got two elements that are actually finished and completed. So you'll see here is my first drawing where you can see I've got my um, dimensions of my actual panel all created, my center of gravity. We can see my grout tubes. We can see the dimensions for the grout tubes here. Um, if we go to the second one, well, that's the one we're looking at. If we go look at the other one, exactly the same thing. And I've got all my um, bits and pieces here. So my, there's four anchor bolts, uh, four anchor plates. There's two, uh, there's 12 sheets of this SL42 mesh um, and so on and so on and so forth, okay? And you can see everything that was placed in the actual um, model has been dimensioned and everything is ready to go. Yeah, so again, this can be configured to suit whatever it is you like. You may want a bar bending schedule. You may want certain annotations, um, whatever. But this drawing can still be modified manually. It is still a drawing. You can still come in to annotate, add all your own dimensions, different texts, whatever it is that you want to add, uh, 2D symbols, doesn't matter. All that can be created as part of the workflow.